Hello and welcome to Faith at Home, the Church of England's new series to support and encourage families to explore faith together at home. Whether you're a parent, carer, grandparent, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, or cousin, Faith at Home will bring you practical ideas to try at home together and encouragement for your family. Faith at Home is about finding God together in the everyday parts of life. God is right there with us in the midst of it all. Each week, we will be exploring a different theme to help us do this. And this week, we will be looking at courage. But before we dive right in, we want to pause to encourage you. Life at the moment can be crazy, feeling like you're spinning a thousand plates at once. And so there is a beautiful poem that the children of Birmingham and Lancaster have recorded just for you. I hope it makes you smile. Father's aunties, brothers, to all the sisters, uncles, mothers, to the grandparents and all the others, we thank you. We thank you for all the dinners you've prepared. When you've held us when we feel scared, when you've tidied up our rooms, for all those family calls on Zoom, when you're kind when we feel sad, when you're patient when we get mad, when your smile makes us feel great, though you're spinning all those plates, you head out to the shop. Then you take the chance to stop. When you make some time for fun. Though there's so much to be done. When your work seems really tough. And you come home feeling rough. Because you're doing all this stuff. We thank you, you're enough. We thank you, you're enough. To all the fathers, aunties, brothers. To all the sisters, uncles, mothers. The grandparents and all the others. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, you're enough. We thank you, you're enough. Wasn't that lovely? It's an easy thing to share with your friends if they need a bit of a boost. Just go to the Church of England Faith at Home website and you'll be able to find it there. Talking about character is a great way of opening up the idea of faith with your children. Sometimes it can help to hear what children themselves think about courage. So we asked children in Cornwall and Manchester to share their thoughts on courage. Courage is feeling brave when you're trying something new like at school. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Like standing on top of a really big slide and going down. Being brave even though you're scared. Courage is staying home even though it can be tough to be without your family and friends. Courage to me is when the whole country is under lockdown and the key workers are working to save lives. Courage is being brave because now it's a hard time so you have to be good, do good for the NHS. Courage is being brave when in hard times. Courage is when you you believe in yourself. Standing up for what you believe in, even though other people don't feel the same way. Doing something you know is right, even when you know it's hard. Courage can be given to you by other people. I listen to stories of history that involve people that have done big things despite the odds, and it just really gives me an extra boost to face things that I'm scared of. I think courage comes from people that you trust. When you're feeling worried, People can give you words to make you feel brave. Courage is deep inside you and flutters out when needed. From talking out loud to being on stage, be B K C. Brave, kind, courageous. Talking about courage is a great way in to talking with children about faith. So. What does courage mean to you and how could you open up the conversation with your children? I know that starting that kind of conversation can sound tricky, but it's something very easy to do. All it takes is some space and some good questions. So find a space in the day. It may be mealtime or bedtime or when you're watching TV and ask one of these questions. What is the 
bravest thing you've had to do in the last year? When you feel afraid, what do you do? What does God do when you're afraid? So give those questions a go at home. You might need to answer first to give your children the boldness to answer honestly too. You could also use a Bible story to keep the conversation flowing. So what about the amazing promise God makes to Joshua as he starts his leadership journey? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. The Faith at Home website has lots more practical ideas and resources that you can use at home, some from our partner organizations like Diddy Disciples and Prayer Spaces at Home. So here's a couple of things you could try this week. Our friends at Snenton Church of England School in Nottingham has a brilliantly arty idea for us. And St Mary Redcliffe and Temple School in Bristol explain how a simple card can make all the difference. Today we are praying for people across the world to have courage. Please join us for our prayer. I am blessed, I am blessed, every day of my life I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed. I am blessed every day of my life. I am blessed when I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest. I am blessed. I am blessed. You can celebrate your faith at home through a song or a prayer just like us. Why don't you have a go at making one too? Faith at Home program, here's something practical that you could do. You might know someone who's a key worker or trapped inside of a house and can't get out on lockdown. This is a normal card. If you write some words of courage in here, you can give it to somebody who is in need of it. Write anything to the key worker or someone who's struggling over this period. Like, I miss you very much, keep on going on, try your best. Then you post it and when it's posted, they will receive it and they, the hope is that they will keep on pushing on and hoping that this will come to true. Finally, we'd like to leave you with some ideas of how to pray together about courage. Students in Bristol have recorded an amazing prayer which has been joined with the inspirational worship song the Blessing UK, made by churches across the country. So sit back and enjoy this. Maybe bring your children in and have them listen to it too. You can talk to them about the prayer and how to listen to it with an open heart to God. Have them listen to the lyrics and listen to when it says children and what that prayer means for them. Well, thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next time on Faith at Home. Stay courageous and remember, you are enough. We pray a blessing, manna rain down from heaven. This isn't second guessing, we know that we are protected. May the peace that surpasses all understanding be our message. Grace and favors in your nature, in your essence. God of all love, we come to you with all that we are. We bring you our hopes and dreams, joys and sorrows, and anxieties and worries. We ask that you would fill us with the peace of your presence. We know that you have made us people of courage. We know that your love drives out fear. You have called us to be strong and bold because you are with us. Make us like Jesus, courageous and loving. Wherever we are, whatever it costs, and as long as it takes. Now and forever. Amen.
is mine.